Velasquez is a, is a painter who um, is very unpretentious. In, in, in many ways, he's a painter's painter. Um, it means that there's just a sincerity and a love of the visual imagery. Um, here we have uh, an interesting kind of, it's an intimate setting, it's a, it's a commissioned portrait, but we're actually seeing the canvas that the portrait's on. And he's got himself in there as the court painter painting, and we have the princess in there. Velasquez and Rembrandt have that shared quality of this ability to create light and shadows and the, the nuanced shadows and create tremendous depth. And um, they're on the same footing. Um, an interesting thing is that uh, we do, when we do a close-up of the, the princess and we see her rose flower, it's impressionistic. It's just a few marks of paint that create this thing. When we see a detail of her face, it's not uh, chiseled out and finished like the Angra or um, like a Greek sculpture. It's an impression. So we're getting an indication of, of that direction into the French Impressionists. But when we stand back and look at it, it's all there. We see her eyes, we see the glint in her eyes, we see the shape of her forehead, we see the folds of her hair. So it's like we have the illusion that it's all there. And it is, it's all there by how the light was reflecting and working. Um, and this painting, you could scientifically just go through the turn of the shoulder, like this woman's shoulders back behind this other woman's shoulders, where the princess is here and she's turned a certain way, and this part of her face is out in front of that part of her face, and then this part of her, her whole head is a foot in front of this other one. So his depth perception is balancing the nuances. You could spend a lifetime just studying all those connections, and they all fit. Like, yep, the tail of the dog is over there, and this is over here, and he creates the paint to vibrate and to move around through through the depth of this uh, setting.